Okay, we're starting to put together the Z-axis. And we have a uh, flange bearing here. Goes into a recess. It slips in. Nice and flush. Then these two uh, little button head screws hold it in. And this rail and that together. We'll countersink these again, just like the other one. Okay, so I've uh, put in three T-nuts here, here's the fourth one. And we slide this over the T-nuts. T-nuts down here. Not too hard to do. And just hold in place and we'll snug it up a little bit. Let it switch here. Okay, I screwed the Delrin nut onto the Acme thread. We'll pull it. Up there, whoops, nut. There we go. And uh, we'll get that screwed on there. Uh, that'll work for now, I think. Uh, I'll push that up. We'll tighten these a little bit. Okay, and mounting the stepper motor uh, for the Z, and I was short the four screws for mounting that. So I replaced them with some 1032 screws, uh, socket head cap screws that I had. So we can keep going with this.
think I can get them both on the same direction. Uh, in their instructions, they show them uh, the other way. But uh, hooking up the wires for the uh, uh, X and Z axis. Just following the instructions as far as color code goes, and uh, get these stripped and a quarter inch, and uh, that's all you need. And I'll repeat the same on the other side for the uh, Z. X and Z uh, wiring uh, hooked up. Also repeated terminal connections on the Y axis, both motors. So I've cut my uh, cables to the length prescribed for the 1000 millimeter unit, a 5 foot, a 7 foot, and two 12s. And I've terminated the one end on the right stepper motor. And then we threaded it through this rail. There's a hole, and here's it coming out here in this end on the left. This is the left end of the Y axis. And we have uh, plenty of wire there. Plenty of wire to make it a very nice, neat, uh, clean installation. And this is going to get terminated with the wiring on the left side stepper motor. We've soldered uh, the limit switch wires on, and all three of them, and we have our cables all attached and our power cable attached to our terminal strips. Now for the drag chain. Okay, um, a little problem with the camera, but I got some of it. That, uh, I have the drag chains mounted. Uh, the wiring connected, limit switches soldered uh, connections. Uh, looks really good. And we're going to move to the next step. Okay, we're going to be mounting the spindle. Uh, actually, first I'm going to turn this around before we do that. There we go. Then we get this up close. Oh, we got to put together some uh, some more V wheels. Uh, and spacers put these together okay, uh, running low on parts it's only been short uh, a couple things and uh, and I'm short I don't have the little flat washers now for this because I'm short on those so we'll find some. okay so uh, 
these uh, go, go on here. Uh, two have eccentrics and two are solid. Okay, let's uh, the wheels are on. Okay, we're gonna slip this up, and then we have. Well, I have to take that motor out. Uh, they, they came this way with the motor in it, but you have to remove the motor to get to the screws, it looks like. Or the cap. Just got to remove the cap. Okay. There we go. We have to align it with the uh, Delrin block here. Okay. There we go. bad there then we'll put that back on and then we can snug that back okay I'm sure these wires will um, go over and terminate where the power source is down there. 